for these riders in his go or go home. Here is your pro last chance qualifier. Pro singles last chance qualifier first through fourth will all transfer to the main event. Everybody else is done until we go to Springfield in May. On the pole from Barrington, New Hampshire, 27U, Jamison Minor. In the number two starting spot, Spring Mills, Pennsylvania rider, 32A, Austin Greenland. From Brisbane, California, 66Y, Dominic Calendres. In the fourth starting spot, Coatesville, Pennsylvania, 63A, Jesse Long. Number 37A from Delta, Pennsylvania, Corey Strickler, and the 23Y, Ryan Foster, Sunnyvale, California. In row number two, 35S, Dalton Winkler, 13C, Luke Baird, 25L, Michael Strabel, 12J, Nick Hanchett, 44E, Nick Armstrong, 34F is Andrew Butler. Now we go all the way back to row number three, the Flying Tomato, 36B, Colby Carlisle, the rider from England, 30I, that's Alan Burtwistle, 50A, Joe Bromley, 22C, Andy Wallace, 25J, Dan McRoberts, and the 23Z, that is James Monaco. Here we go, pro singles, last chance qualifier, first, second, third, and fourth, continue on, and that is it. Everybody else will come back in May at the Springfield Mile. Wait until the track is clear. The 10 second board is getting ready to go up. Riders are pulling up to the line. They're all putting their bikes in gear. Looks like one of them having a problem on the third row. They will put them into gear. Taking 10 second board, it's up. Here we go. Watch the green light. Miss Harley Davidson gets out of the way. She's not ready for this one. She's ready to get over here and watch it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Last chance qualifier is off. See who's out front, looks like the 22. We got one rider stacking him up. He's got to point in the right direction. I believe that's the 32 down the back straightaway. Might be the 22. We'll wait and figure it out. I'm not sure who this one is. And we come bring it back in this way off of turn number four. It looks like the 23 Y is out front. That is Ryan Foster at last pick on the front row. The 27 U of Miners right there in the two spot. Greenland right there in fourth. Jesse Long in the fourth spot, I'm sorry. Third is Austin Greenland. Calendra is back in fifth. He's the odd man out. We got room for four of these riders and only four, ladies and gentlemen, to stack field in this one. Off of fourth, 23 Y. Ryan Foster out front. Jamison Miner, we got one down up against the hay bales. One down against the hay bales on the outside. A turn number four is getting himself up, but the bike is right there. Could be in harm's way. The red flag's gonna fly. And Scotty, let's take a minute and recognize something else here. The red flag does fly, this is true. But when they signal for the red flag, they also push a little simple button. And wirelessly, not only here at Daytona Flat Track, but over at Daytona International Speedway's road course as well, these beautiful clear water, ultra bright red LED lights will pop on instantly, letting the riders know over at the road course and here instantly that there's trouble on the racetrack. They, the guys are told to roll off the throttle, heads up and be alert. Many thanks to our friends with clear water lights. You can buy them for your motorcycle as well. So uh, check them out online. The rider that went down, the one I heard of was the 25L, that's Michael Strabel. He actually went down last night, also was having a rough 2014 Daytona flat track. Uh, he had already went, made his way back to the hot box. We will have a complete restart with their talk and things. Pulls up first, that is Ryan Foster, 27U, Jamison Minor pulls up to the two spot. Corey Strickler pulls up third. Jesse Long fourth right now. Those are your top four. Those people would transfer to the main if we were done, but we're not. 66Y, Dominic Calendres. Behind Calendres, the 35S, Corey Strickler. 13C, Luke Baird. 32A, Austin Greenland. He was up there looking for a transfer just a few moments ago. He has slipped back in the field. 34F, Austin, Andrew Butler. Behind Butler is the 30I. That is Alan Burtwistle from England. Behind him is the Flying Tomato 36B, Colby Carlisle, brand new pro rider. 50A, that's Daniel Bromley, 12 out there. It'd be the 12J, Nick Hanchett. His dad won a long time ago at the Daytona at the original stadium in the junior days. Back behind him is the 44E. That'll be Nick Armstrong. Behind that is McRoberts, Andy Wallace. And that's about as far back as I can see. Looks like Michael Strable's at the tail end of the field, so he will make the restart. And we're going to turn him loose. First red light is on. The camera crew's been listening to me, so the first red light is on. We got two yellows. And then a random start, and we will go green here. Daytona flat track, pro singles, last chance qualifier there, off. It is Foster, new rider taking over the two spot. Here comes Jamison Miner sliding up the inside, looking for third. Now he's back to third. Down the back shoot, 32 moves up there into the two spot. Uh-oh, rider down, you can see it right there, going in turn number three, hits the handlebars as he slides into the turn. It is Foster, now the battle for second place to so 63A up the inside of Corey Strickler. 
63A is long, so the right of the wind down is up and is okay. You're going to keep on running. We'll figure out who it is. It's the 27U, Jamison Miner, who was actually up there in a transfer spot earlier. He is now at the tail end of the lead lap. Halfway flags are in the air for Foster. The 63A of long. Here comes Dominic Calendras. He wants another position. He moves up there into the third spot on the 66Y. Off a of two down the back shoot. 32, I believe that's Greenland. Greenland's deep in the field. I'm sorry, it was a mistake. That's Corey Strickler right there in the four spot. Off of four, it's Foster. Jesse Long, Dominic Calendras. Corey Strickler right there in fourth. He's got company up the inside. Only four of these bikes will transfer. It's Dalton Winkler now, the man that's trying to get in. Keep your eyes on the 35S. They're bumping and banging for fifth, sixth, and seventh. Here they come off of four. Two laps to go. Pro singles, last chance qualifier. Leader pulling away. Ryan Foster's pulling away just a little bit. Second is Jesse Long. Third is Calendres. Last time by Strickler is in fourth. Armstrong, Winkler, Butler looking for a way in. White flags flying this time by for Foster. Long, Calendres, watch the battle for fourth place, ladies and gentlemen. Only four of these riders will transfer. Only four. It is go or go home time. Watch the battle for fourth. The leaders are all settled into the top three spots. Here comes your winner. Watch the battle for fourth. They bring him to the line. It'll be Foster taking a win. Long in second. Calendres, and by a nose hair, the 37 day Corey Strickler puts it in the big show. Here is your finishing order, your top four transfer, all on Hondas. Ladies and gentlemen, 23Y, Ryan Foster, 63A, Jesse Long, 66Y, Dominic Calendris, 37A is Corey Strickler, and by a nose, Dalton Winkler, Nick Armstrong, Colby Carlisle, Andrew Butler, Austin Green, the ninth, Luke Bear, 10th, Burt Whistles in 11th, James Monaco, Hanchett, Romley, McRoberts, Andy Wallace, Jamison Miner, and Michael Strabel round out your field. So that was the Pro Singles last chance qualifier. Next time we see Pro Singles, it will be their main event action. Up next, we'll have our Dash for Cash. It'll be coming up in just a moment. Let's go to the victory podium. My partner, Barry Boone, our leader's trying to get his helmet off down there. Yeah, we're going to give him a moment to take that beautiful Shoy skid lid off. Ladies and gentlemen, this young man has just done it the hard way. He has won the last chance qualifier. That puts him in the main. He's from Sunnyvale, California, all the way out on the East Coast. How about a warm Daytona? Congratulations. Round of applause for Ryan Foster. Ryan, way to go. Good ride here tonight. That's a hard way to have to get yourself into a main event. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not the race I want to win, but it's a race win. Um, I'd rather win a, a main event, but uh, glad to be up here. Now you'll get last pick back there on that back row. Uh, what are you going to do with it? How do, you, how do you work your way up through that many riders in a main event here at Daytona Flat Track? Well, I just got to concentrate on that start, make sure I get a good start. That's what's going to come down to. Ryan, anybody want to say thank you too before we turn you loose? Yeah, big thanks to Thresher Communications and Baywide Glass, Hacienda Pools, my mom and dad, Sluggo, Raggio Racing, and all the fans for coming out. He said hello to you last. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, number 23Y, Ryan Foster will win tonight's Pro Singles LCQ. He's number five, Jake Johnson's going to be your winner. Who thinks it's going to be the number 80, Stevie Bonzi? Who's cheering for the 44, Brandon Robinson? Who's cheering for the number 69, Jethro Albert? Who's cheering for the big number seven? Last night's Dash for Cash winner, slamming Sammy Albert. And who's cheering for the brand new national number 13, Jake Constantine? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, four lap expert Dash for Cash. First yellow's on. Uh-oh, the red light comes on. 13, Constantine loses power in the number 13 bike. He has for two minutes. He's going to adjust the clutch just a little bit. According to AMA rules, you can request for two minutes. He's adjusting that clutch himself. He's out here turning that clutch uh, adjuster just a little bit. He's going to put his glove back on. He, asked for two minutes. he did ask for two minutes. That is correct, sir. He fires up the 13, so he made some adjustments. You got to know how to tune him. You got to know how to ride him. So the clutch evidently must have started slipping. He started inching forward. At least that's a good excuse. That's what I would have done, too. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Expert dash for cash on the line. First yellow's on, second yellow's on, and they are off. Expert.
Herbert dash for cash into turn number one. It's the five. Johnson from the outside. Bozzi's in the two spot. Here comes Halbert on the Fredericktown Yamaha up to third. Down the back straightaway. The Rams for winery entry number five. It's Johnson, Bozzi, Halbert, your top three. Green flags in the air. Lap one is in the books. Johnson, Bozzi, here comes the 13. Constantine, he doesn't care who's in front of him. He's coming to the front. 13's riding the wheels off the motorcycle. Constantine goes up to third. He's looking for some more. This youngster is hungry, ladies and gentlemen. Now they're going to work on the number 80. Constantine and Albert were side by side all the way around. One rider down. That's the 44. Brandon Robinson going down over there, getting the soil sampling out of his way. Look at the battle for second place. Constantine comes through. Halbert up to third. Looks like on the outside, Bonzi's going to be the odd man out. Here they come off of turn number four. It is the five. Jersey Jake Johnson, white flag is in the air. Constantine has one more lap to get up there. Can Constantine win his first? Expert dash for cash. We are about to find out in a half a lap. Constantine is, I'm sorry, Johnson's out front. Constantine, I joined the names together there. Final lap, final corner. Here comes your winner. Expert dash for cash. It is Johnson. Constantine, Sammy Halbert. And we'll give you the rundown. Your winner on the ramps for Winery Honda, number five, Jersey Jake Johnson, second. How about this hard charge, number 13, Jake Constantine, second. Sammy Halbert on the seventh, third. Stevie Bonzi on the fourth, fourth finish. Jethro Halbert, fifth, and one lap down. Brad Robson going down over there for turn number four. And we're going to go to the victory podium, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Parker Bray Boone. He's going to have a very happy Jake Johnson. Hollywood, you're doing a great job tonight. This is so fun. Making it to the box for the second time tonight. Now, what's important here, ladies and gentlemen, this man's in a chase for a national championship. By winning this race, he got five bonus points. Last year, five points would have made a difference in who won the championship. That's how important it is. So he has done it. He won his heat. He won his dash for cash. Can he win the main? L ladies and gentlemen, Jersey Jake Johnson. Wow, Jake, uh, you're back with a vengeance. Another great race for you. This must feel really good. Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I feel like a rookie again. You know, my nerves are, are, are kind of getting to me a little bit. But, uh, you know, once you get on the bike, uh, turn that throttle wide open and go. But uh, I, like I said, again, I got to thank my team. Uh, Ram Ramsford Winery, Lloyd Brothers Motorsports, Parkinson Brothers, uh, Tommy Duma, um, my mechanic Brent, my wife Jody, uh, everybody involved. Uh, Rye helmets, uh, Smith goggles, uh, uh, race tech suspension, Jimmy Wood, uh, he's been a big help the last couple years of my program and uh, has taught me a lot. So uh, the list goes on and on, but uh, I'm just going to try not to screw this thing up. <laughs> you're doing good so far. Just keep doing what you're doing. If the folks here at Daytona had a microphone, they'd be telling you congratulations. They don't, I do. Congratulations on your win. Thanks, and uh, thanks for all you guys coming out. and. Uh, Hope you're about to see a, a wild show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, one more time, tonight's Dash for Cash winner, Jersey Jake Johnson. There are only two expert semis. Here is your starting lineup for expert semi number one. Top three riders to the main event. Everybody else is done for the night on the pole. Number 23, Jeffrey Carver. Starting second from Morton, Illinois. 27, Robbie Pearson. In the third starting spot from San Jose, California. 54, Mikey Rush. The number nine from Clio, Michigan, that's the jammer, Jared Meese, in the fifth starting spot. National number 17, Henry Wiles. Last rider on the front row, national number 65, Corey Texter. In row number two, 21U, Jay Maloney. 96B, Cody Johncox. 94K, Jake Cunningham. 90, Joe Show, Joe Hartrich. 35, Will Cato. 74G, that is Ronnie Jones. And back in row number three, Danny, 93X, Danny Kelch. 43P, Darren Carter. 21, that is Duke Erickson. And the 71, that is Don Mullen. Here we go. Expert semifinal number one, top three to the main event. Everybody else puts them in the trailer until we go to Springfield, May 25th. They're getting ready to send them off, ladies and gentlemen. Expert semifinal number one on the track. Top three to the main. Trying to get the track cleared off. We're ready to go. Watch our trophy girl. 10 second board is up. It is expert semifinal. Go or go home. Ladies and gentlemen, top three to the main. Here we go. The pressure builds all winter long. And they are off. It is Mikey Rush getting the hole. 
Small shot to 54 will lead him into turn number one. He's got company coming, 23 Carver. Meese is right back there in the third spot. Got Dougie Fresh, I believe. No, it's Bugs Pearson. Pearson looks like he's up there into the third spot. Here they come off of three, now into four. Off of four, down the front straight is Mikey Rush out front. The 23 and the 27. The Illinois Riders back there in second and third. We got Carver in second. Bugs Pearson in the third spot. Michigan Riders fourth, fifth. That is Meese and Wiles. Remember, Wiles used his provisional start card last night. If he doesn't get the top three, he puts in in the hauler. Off of four, down the back shoots the 54 of Rush. 23 of Carver, 27 Bucks Pearson. Behind Pearson, we got Meese. Wiles goes to the high side of the racetrack the long way around. Here comes John Cox now, I believe, on the 96B. It is Joe, Cody John Cox. He's going to work on Henry Wiles. That's the 96B, brand new expert rider. He goes by Meese now, sets his sights on Wiles. We got room for three of these riders. It's Mikey Rush, the 23. That is Carver, 27. Pearson gets the drive, tries the high line right there, battling for second. He knows Henry Wiles and Meese are back there on the prowl trying to get in there. It is Mikey Rush pulling away. Machete Energy Drink, one of the sponsors on the big number 54. He won here last year. He's a two-time Daytona flat track winner. The 54 is, and he's pulling away. But this is only a semifinal. Look at the battle for second, third, and fourth. Ladies and gentlemen, we only got room for three of them. Rush out front, halfway flags are in the air. Wiles is getting tired of following. He goes to the high side. He's up there in the loose stuff. He goes around the outside and takes over the third spot away from Bugs Pearson. Had to earn it the hard way, going the long way around. Wiles is finding something in the high line. Rush pulling away on the 54. Carver, Wiles, Bugs Pearson. Maloney now coming up there. Jay Maloney showing the wheel up there in the 21. Remember, Maloney made the main event last night. He's coming through the field. That slides Meese back a spot. Wiles goes to work on Carver. All the way around the outside, the long way around Daytona flat track. Wiles is charged, and the better you finish, the better starting spot you will have in the main. Wiles loving the high line. They must have set it up for it. That's the Don's Kawasaki entry. Our flagman pulls out the furled white and the furled green. My partner taught me that line. Two laps to go. Off of turn number four into one. It is Rush, Wiles, Carver trying to hang on to the final transfer. Two laps left, less than two laps left now. Your leader coming off of four. White flag's gonna fly for the big 54. My good friend, Mikey Rush. Rush trying to hang on to it. Wiles has found the high line, ladies and gentlemen. He's working in the high line is the 17. Here's your big winner, semifinal number one, Mikey Rush. Yeah, he knows he's in. Look at him, he's excited. Wiles will take the second spot, Carver third. Jay Maloney looked like he might have been the fastest rider on the track. He comes up there and gets fourth on that last lap. We'll get to the full field run now. Soon as a couple more, we'll take the checkered flag. The leader looks like he missed his pull in. So your winner, ladies and gentlemen, the California kid. I'm sorry, that's not the California kid. This is a two-time Daytona winner. He's also from California, 54 on the number plate. He's, he's bringing it to come over here, Barry. Mikey, Rush, we need Mikey Rush over here, please. Come on, Mikey, we gotta see you at the podium, young man. You've earned it, we need you right here. I think he forgot about it. Mikey Rush, your winner. Henry Wiles, second. Your third and final transfer is the 23 of Carver. Jay Maloney looked like he was the fastest rider on the track. He worked his way up to fourth. Robbie Pearson, Cody Johncox, Corey Texter, seventh. Jared Meese, eighth. Joe Hartridge, Will Cato, Jake Cunningham, Danny Kelch, Darren Carter, Duke Erickson, Ronnie Jones, and Don Mullen. And let's get the helmet off of our big winner, the Machete Energy Drink. Ladies and gentlemen, he's had quite a few. Maybe that's what I've been drinking. I can't remember. There he is, your winner. Mikey Rush. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a real good night for these California riders. This is another one of the hot guns out of the West Coast. Mikey, great race for you. That's a long way and a hard way to have to earn yourself a starting spot in the main, but young man, you've done it. Oh yeah, we, uh, my team, I'd have to get up for my team. Uh, the guys have been working their tails off. Jimmy Wood's been coming over constantly. We're to tune in with my suspension all day, all weekend long, and it's been getting better and better. And Jim, we finally got it working really good tonight, so that's cool. Um, yeah, like I said, I give it up to Ronnie Brown, man, tuned by Ronnie Brown. The guy's been helping me out a ton this year. Uh, Rod Lake Racing, Dave Cassio, Cassio Russ Racing, uh, Machete Energy, GP Sports, Motorcycle Superstore for giving me some awesome helmets. 
uh, X-Brand goggles. Just everyone just get me here, my Uncle Phil, give me a good road bike to train on, just keep me fit all winter long, and just I've been putting in a lot of hard work for this. So. You're such a class act, you're such a good man. Good luck tonight in the main event from that third row. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, national number 54, Mikey Rush. Following this one, our 18 rider expert main event field will be completed. This is how they will start expert semi number two. First, second, and third of the main event on the point. Ladies and gentlemen, pulling to the inside from Claremont, Indiana, 31, Dan Ingram. In the number two starting spot from Glenmore, Pennsylvania, number 55, Jake Shoemaker. In the third starting spot from Albion, New York, number 41, that is Brad Hazel. From Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, number 73, Dougie Fresh, Doug Lawrence. Brand new national number 16, rider number 16 is Wyatt McGuire. And making his comeback to dirt track here this weekend, maybe this weekend only, we'll find out. 33, West Bend, Wisconsin, J.R. Schnabel. In the row, number two, 26B, Lowell Carson, 98, Kale Kochman, 25A, Shana Texter, 74P, Chaz Landers, 51Z, Sean Reggio. 13B, AJ Stay, and back in row number three, ladies and gentlemen, 88G, Kent Briggs, 64C, Jerry Steele, and 11C, that is Shane Fox. That is your starting lap, our last qualifying race of Daytona Flat Track. First, second, and third to the main. Here we go. Uh-oh, somebody's getting excited. Line two. Uh-oh, everybody's putting their hands up. So somebody was creeping across the line, possibly we'll wait and see. Okay, slide the 25A back just a little bit. That's the DFW Honda Shayna Texter lining them up. And you might ask yourself, how do they know? There are laser beams right in front of the tires of each of those four, three rows. And if anybody breaks it, it shuts the computer down. Here we go. The bikes are in gear. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Last qualifying race of the evening. After this one, we got two main events. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Somebody's getting in trouble. Oh, well, that's that's what this is all about. It's anxiety. You know it is, Scotty. Oh, yeah. This is last chance to get in the show here tonight. Yep. Last chance right now. This is the last qualifying race of Daytona. Flat track. If you don't make it out of your heat race, you go to a semi. If you don't make it out of your semi, you put it in the hauler. So we're going to find out. They're going to put the 16 way back there on the penalty line along with, it looks like, the 13. That's the 13B, that's AJ Stay. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The 31 starting to overheat just a little bit. First yellow's on. Second yellow's on. And they are green. We are off. The 41 starts to overheat just a little bit too. 31, Dan Ingram goes up the inside. We got new leaders, J.R. Schnabel, ladies and gentlemen. Schnabel leads them off a two down the back chute. Dougie Fresh dropping them just a little bit. Look at the battle for second place. It's Ingram with the bright yellow helmet. Looks like Corey Texter. Texter's on the prowl on the 65. They're stacking them up behind them. No, it's Shoemaker. I thought it was Texter. Shoemaker puts himself into the two spot. Dan Ingram, oh, we got Ryder down. Two Riders down, one into the air fence. Down the back straight away they go. The red flag will fly this time. Red lights are flashing around the racetrack. Man, you can feel the intensity picking up as every race is being completed right here. They're gonna take these Riders back to the hot box. So uh, Riders that are down, Figure out who it is, just so we can get a, get a good shot at it here. I'm watching the fanschoice.tv cameras. It's Kale Kochman on the 98. And not sure who's up there in the fence. I believe it's the 25A. Yeah, it is Shana Texter got up there into the air fence. Shana Texter up there into the air fence. And the 98, Kale Kochman was the other rider going down. So I didn't see what started the accident, but uh, we see what happens when they get done. Partner Barry Boone's checking out with the uh, checking in with Kevin Clark. We will have a complete restart. Just heard on the radio. So a tough break for J.R. Schnabel, who got out front. Yeah. Remember, he took a long break in the action. He's made his way back to Grand National Flat Track. Yeah, we do. We've got Kevin Clark. We we see him. We uh, we talk about him, but we never talk to him. And I have a question. Maybe you can help our fans here at the racetrack, and maybe perhaps our fans on FansChoice.tv around the globe right now watching. We've heard from people in Spain. We've heard from people in Canada. We've heard from people in London, England, and they just keep coming. So they're all over the world watching. Tell them how we start each and every one of these races here tonight, if you will, Kevin. Well, basically, Barry, is uh, it's all mechanized. It's no human error. You push the green button, and 
first uh, light will go yellow for five seconds. The second yellow goes from 0.2 to three seconds, and then it goes green. Uh, we got three beams here. If any beam is broken, it will go red. Uh, the last stat, we actually had a little problem with a little bit of uh, smoke or something that tripped the second light, but we got it figured out, and life is good. Perhaps you can answer this question that we get a lot from fans. Why are sometimes when you push that button, it goes boom, 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 and, and it goes green right away. Other times, it seems excruciatingly long waiting for the green light to pop on. It's all electronic, little random checker that goes from 0.2 to three seconds, and it's at that. At one time, it was uh, zero to three seconds, and they actually had it once where it just went instantly green and the second yellow light never came on, so they made adjustments so nobody could complain. Appreciate the explanation, Kevin Clark. Thank you so much. No problem, thank you. Kevin Clark, ladies and gentlemen, from way up in the northeastern part of the United States. You can hear the eastern accent. He's a he's an awesome man. He's a good guy. He's a great flagman. So they're talking things over right now. Shana Texter is headed back to the hot box. Her mechanic is smoking Joe Kopp, the 2000 AMA Grand National Champion. Here we go. They're staged up for the restart. Ladies and gentlemen, experts, semifinal. Top three of the main. First yellow is on. Now the second yellow, we are green quickly. Brad Hazel now from the outside to the 33, J.R. Schnabel. Schnabel leads him off a two off. And here comes Inger up the inside, the bright green, bright yellow, day glow, yellow helmet moves into the two spot. Here comes Dougie Fresh up the inside to take the third spot. Now the rider sneaks on through. That is Shoemaker on the 55. Now here comes the 41 from fifth up to third. That is the money spot. Ladies and gentlemen, watch the battle for the top three positions. Off of four, I mean off for of two, down the back side, 33, Schnabel, Dan Ingram. Remember, he took a 20-year break in the action. He's back at it, ladies and gentlemen. Ingram on the 31s up to second. He wants some more. Dan Ingram on the 31. He's got sponsorship from Twist Grip Motorsports. Off of two down the back sides to 33, J.R. Schnabel. The 31, Dan Ingram. Watch the battle for third. It's Shoemaker right now. Last year, Saddleman Seats and Saddleman's Rookie of the Year. He's looking for a transfer. Here comes the 41, Brad Hazel. They just about touch handlebars over here in three and four. Top four riders are freight training through one and two. Off of turn number two down the back straightaway. Schnabel gets a little bit of breathing room. Now Shoemaker goes to work on the 31. Here comes the 41. Hazel just about throws it away. They're charging as hard as they can, trying to slow down as fast as they can right here at Daytona Flat Track. Schnabel, Ingram, two of the veterans out front. Dan Anger, a former Daytona flat track winner. He's never won here at this facility. Would love to do it right here tonight. It doesn't matter if it's a heat race, a semifinal, or a main event. Ingram's coming up. Here comes Dan Ingram on the prowl. Ingram takes the point. Ladies and gentlemen, now Schnabel shuts the door. Dan the man, Dan Ingram from Claremont, Indiana, on the twist grip. Motorsports puts the 31 out front. He's got Schnabel breathing on the right shoulder. Off of four, down the front side. Now look at the battle for third spot. It's the 41 of Brad Hazel. Shoemaker leaning on him. Probably the best race of the night, in my opinion. Every spot's up for grabs. We got room for three of these riders. Bo Braswell's going crazy down here in the infield. That's his rider out front, Dan Ingram. Off of four, down the back side. J.R. Schnabel takes a look over his shoulder and wants to know who's coming up next. It is the 41. Hazel's on the prowl. So is the 55, Jake Shoemaker. 73, Dougie Fresh is right there. This thing is not over yet. Next time by will be two laps to go. Two laps to go for your leader, Dan Ingram. Claremont, Indiana. One of the veterans in our sport, 33, pulls up into second. J.R. Schnabel watched the battle for the third spot. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Brad Hazel. Shoemaker goes up the inside, they touch. Shoemaker gets it low down, watch the battle for third place. Here they come off of four. Shoemaker did that last night to number 16, Wyatt McGuire. Tonight he does it right there. He's gonna try to hang on, that was the white flag. Shoemaker's see if he can hang on. Now Dougie Fresh has put himself in fourth. Last lap, last corner, Shoemaker making the impressive move. Coming to the wide, checkered flag is in the air for one of the veterans. Dan Ingram taking the win. How about it for you veteran race fans? You're gonna know all about this guy. Dan Ingram comes back on the scene a few years back after taking 20 years off. And Dan Ingram takes the win. 
listed here on a Kawasaki. 33, J.R. Schnabel second, 55, Jake Shoemaker. Those are your top three transfers. Fourth place, Doug Lawrence, Brad Hazel fifth, Wyatt McGuire sixth, Kale Cookman seventh from the back row. Shane Texter also from the back row eighth. Lowell Carson, Sean Raggio, A.J. Stay, Chaz Landers, Jerry Steele, Kent Briggs, and Shane Fox. Ladies and gentlemen, how'd you like that semifinal? And now let's go to the podium. My partner, Barry Boone, I'm sure this guy's going to be super happy. He hasn't been up there on the podium here at Daytona. He's won here before, but not at this track. Ladies and gentlemen, Dan Ingram. We're going to give him a minute here and let him take that arise skid lid off. The old man of the mountain's done it. He's put himself in the main. He did it for Twi Twist Grip Motorsports. Dan Ingram, congratulations. What a ride. You look fabulous out there, man. man it's a little greasy and slippery, but hey, it feels great, man. What a ride. You had, a, had to battle for it all race long. Then once you got up front, it looked like you put this uh, Twist Grip Motorsports machine on cruise control. Yeah, it's always a pleasure to come here at Daytona, man. All the fans, everybody's so into it. I got Twist Grip Motorsports, Bo Braswell. Terry Northern, Rick Barger, Dan Laxon, Josh Chisholm. Got all these great people helping me out. Xana Racing, and uh, really thank y'all. And young and young at heart, you got fans up in the grandstands too. Let me prove it to you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, your expert semi winner right here, national number 31, Dan Ingram. Yeah. Congratulations, Dan.